want to be sure Timmer's here. With Pacific Rim of the Black out on Netflix, I decided to, I have questions I'll talk about the first Pacific Rim. And boy, now here is my review for 2018's Pacific Rim Uprising. Now, this film actually premiered back in uh, March, on March 23rd, 2018. And, oh boy. Pacific Rim Uprising. Now, I love the first, first, the, uh, first Pacific Rim. I had so much fun with that. And when they announced the sequel, I was actually really interested in checking out the sequel. Because the first one was so good. I'm like, how could you top um, that the sequel? And so I decided to go check out a Pacific Rim up, um, Uprising when that release. One of the worst films I've seen that year. This this was a disappointment. I really thought Pacific Rim Uprising was pretty horrible. And it's changed too, because the guy um, directing it is a Stephen S. D. Knight, and he's shown runs some pretty solid uh, you know TV work. Um, of course, he, you know uh, he you know worked on stuff like. Uh, like uh, Daredevil, um, he's worked on, uh, you know, Spartacus, Smallville, Buffy. Uh, but he has directed this other stuff before, like, actually, I think this is like the first time. But, you know, he's mostly uh, big, like, big with the TV genre. So I'm like, okay, maybe this could actually work, to, you know. But, yeah, it wasn't so good at all. You know, this time around, you had uh, John Boyega, who, of course, is best known, like, you know, it's best known for the uh, Star Wars film. And here he plays the role of uh, Jake uh, Panikos, who's actually the son of Edith Zelda's character from the first film. But Jake is this, like, uh, once promising uh, Jager uh, pilot who's, like, legendary father, uh, played by Edith Zelda, gave his uh, life to secure humanity's uh, victory against the, uh, against the Kaijus. And so Jake has since, uh, you know, abandoned his training to become caught up in a cr the criminal underworld. But like when um an evening uh, more, but like when um an evening more um, unstoppable threat is in the becoming a leash, uh to like uh tear to the city center, Jake ends up giving one last chance uh by his strange sister uh to like live up to his father's legacy and take these uh, kaiju's down. Uh, you had some really uh, you know, some really intriguing castles here. Like you had uh. Scott Eastwood, who plays like uh, Jake's um, strange co-pilot. Uh, you had Jinx uh, Tyan, uh, who was also in Kong Skull Island, um, like a year before. Uh, she plays like this uh, businesswoman and technologist uh, who joins the uh, who joins the allies with PP uh, the C. Uh, Kelly uh, Spenny, who is of course uh, was just seen in the uh, recent Craft film. Uh, she played um, Amara in the Mining. Who is a street orphan uh, who ends up creating a civil and uh, Jake scrapper and ends up becoming Jake's uh, partner after uh, Nate, um, after the Nate character uh, is injured and all. Uh, you, know, you also ha did have some returning cast members like you had Charlie Day returning, uh, Fern Gorman, Levin uh, Rabin. Uh, you also had uh, another um, newcomer in this was uh, Adria Ojona, who's of course going to be seeing the upcoming uh, Morbius film. Uh, she played like pretty much on uh, one of the female leads. Uh, you had some other interesting castles here. Um, this movie could have been good, but sad to say, it really wasn't. Uh, the script wasn't so great. Uh, it's definitely one of the worst sequels to you know uh, come to get released um, in you know recent years. I mean, I remember watching this one in theaters. I was so darn excited for it, but then I saw it and I'm like. How could you go from an awesome movie like Pacific Rim to that? And, I mean, I, maybe it's because it was a Guillermo del Toro or anything, but I mean, I, I guess I can see why. I think uh, del Toro was also busy with Shape of Water that time, so maybe that. But uh, yeah, I mean, the effects still look cool. I mean, the uh, kaiju's I did probably s um, still like the designs of the kaiju's, but yeah, after seeing this, I was a little, I wasn't even. Uh, skeptical if they should even do another Pacific Rim film or not after uh, Uprising, but yeah, I mean, it's just not so good at all. It was probably my uh, top, you know, worst movies of that year when it got released. It's not so good. Uh, Steven S. Knight, I do hope he does another film um, in the future because his TV credits are pretty good. You know, uh, I believe he also did Peaky Blinders. No, no, I think that's Steven Knight. Oh, fine, my bad, but. 
Yeah, this film could have been good, but sad to say, it really wasn't. Uh, yeah, I did not even want, like, like I said, the script wasn't so great. Uh, you know, the storyline wasn't that great either, so, yeah. Uh, if you haven't really, like, if you haven't really seen a Pacific Rim Uprising, sad to say, just skip it and just watch the first Pacific Rim, you know? But uh, anyway... Uh, and actually, this was also supposed to be a film that really should have made a job away to like a star as of Star Wars, but that didn't happen yet. Uh, anyway, uh, let me leave with you guys. Have you ever seen Pacific Rim Uprising? If so, what Star Wars did you like it? Did you not like it? And which Pacific Rim film did you prefer? The first one or Uprising? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is your Simu Sayon.